Two teenagers were charged with the murder of Arnel St. Rose on September 1, 2023. Kwame Felix, 18, and a 17-year-old juvenile were arrested during a police operation. Felix was also charged with possession of ammunition. On Wednesday, August 30th, 2023, 18-year-old Kwame Felix of Angers Deriso and a 17-year-old male juvenile were arrested during a police operation on suspicion of the murder of Arnold St. Rose of Grace V4. During the arrest, a search was conducted on the person of Kwame Felix and six rounds of 9mm ammunition were discovered and seized. On Friday, September 1, 2023, the two arrested persons were charged for the murder of Arnold St. Rose of Grace V4. Kwame Felix received a separate charge for the offense of possession of ammunition. Both suspects were remanded into custody. The individuals were presented before the magistrate's court for bail, where they were remanded into custody. The Royal Sunnyshire Police Force commends the public for their cooperation and continues to urge citizens to support the efforts of the organization. Anyone who would like to share information about criminal activities anonymously can do so by dialing 555. Arnel St. Rose, a Viewford resident, was found shot to death on August 25, 2023, in Vilpei Ajemiku. The autopsy lists multiple gunshot wounds he sustained as the cause of death. On Friday, August 25, 2023, the Royal Solution Police Force commenced investigations into the murder of Arnel St. Rose of Grace V4. About 4.54 p.m. that day, the Miku Police Station received and responded to a report of a shooting at Villepai Anger Miku. The motionless body of Arnel St. Rose was discovered lying on the side of a concrete road with apparent wounds. On Tuesday, August 29, 2023, a post-mortem examination conducted on the body of Arnel St. Rose revealed that he died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds to the body. The island has witnessed a notable uptick in gun-related homicides in the past few weeks, following a brief lull in elevated violent crime in the wake of a law enforcement crackdown in the aftermath of the so-called March 2023 Viewfort Troubles.